know when the hero has to team up with the villain in order to save the world from an even bigger villain? That's kind of going to be the vibe of this video. Good fiction writing is about engagement, grabbing the reader's attention and keeping them interested as you put them through an emotional roller coaster, following fake people who they've never met on events that didn't actually happen. As messy, nuanced, and complicated as the real world is, a good piece of fiction needs to somehow translate that onto the page. And one of the best places to learn how to do this is from an oft-reviled industry. One of the best places to learn how to write good fiction is from advertising. Yes, that's right, Don Draper himself could be the best person to teach you about fiction writing. I don't have any ice. I mean, advertising is not all that bad. It's how I learned about deodorant, and that has dramatically improved my life. Dramatically. Advertising and copywriting face many of the same problems that fiction writers do, and the principles that make for good copy often translate to fiction. The advertising world has spent years studying these principles, and it would behoove many writers to learn about them. And I'm going to share with you some reasons why right after this mid-roll ad. The first lesson that the fiction writer can take from advertising is about engaging emotion. People like to think they make purchasing decisions based on logic rather than emotion, but the opposite is often true. There are a bunch of studies that show that people prefer Pepsi over Coke in like a blind taste test, but if you just ask them which they prefer, they'll say that they prefer Coke. Part of this has to do with the emotions and beliefs held about Coke's brand. People aren't basing their decision entirely on which product is better, they are driven instead by their emotions around the product. Advertising is about making people feel things, positive emotions about a brand, beliefs about how it can change their lives, and the benefits it will give them. Good copywriting stirs up a ton of emotion, just like good fiction writing. This is why books like Fifty Shades of Grey or Twilight are so popular, despite the fact that they are flawed, according to a lot of writers. These books succeed in spite of their apparent flaws because they are able to trigger a strong emotional response in their audience. In the case of Fifty Shades, a very specific emotional response. A product needs a certain amount of quality, sure, but a logically superior product with ads that don't stir up emotion is not likely to sell well. Just like a well-written book that triggers no emotion likely won't be loved by its readers. Emotion is an inherently illogical concept that exists outside the bounds of reason and logic, and both advertising and good fiction writing work to stir up emotions. The next lesson you can learn from advertising has to do with how advertising is usually cut to the bone. People hate ads. Reading, watching, hearing, you are always going against a critical, impatient audience that wants to be somewhere else. This means that copywriters have limited time and attention to both get a message across and spur a person to action. Good copywriters force every word to fight its way onto the page. There is no extra room for fluff, just a clear, persuasive message to a often hostile reader. Fiction is usually met with a little less overt hostility, but you still can't waste time on fluff. You are in a constant battle for reader attention and interest. Good writing is often cut to the bone, succinct, waste-free, powerful prose is the hallmark of good writing. A good writer can exposit setting information, characterize the character, and advance the plot all within a single line of dialogue. You can have detailed, lavish, drawn-out prose, but it always needs to have a purpose. That purpose might be just to set the feeling of a room or describe the kind of hat your character likes to wear, but those details have to have a reason to be there. The scarcity of space is often built into advertising. It's a less obvious constraint for fiction writers, but one that should be considered nonetheless. Copywriters are masters at lots of substance in little space. Fiction writers often have more space, but are always served by making the best of it. Understanding this and some of the tricks that advertisers use to get a message across in as brief a passage as possible 
will often serve a fiction writer quite well. And lastly, lesson number three you can learn from advertising is about understanding people. Advertising does two things. It either meets needs or creates needs. In order to do that, you need to know your audience, what they want, what they value, the problems they face in everyday life. Advertisers get deep into people's heads trying to understand how they think and how they feel. Their goals, their motivations, their flaws, all the same kinds of things that fiction writers need to portray in their characters. There's a theory out there that the reason people like fiction is because when we see people interacting, it gives us social information that we can then use in our own lives. Watching other people work through conflicts and problems potentially gives us solutions to our own conflicts and problems. People are naturally social creatures and our success largely comes down to how well we get along with other people. So naturally this information about what other people are doing to succeed is quite useful. You need to portray true to life characters in order for readers to care about them. Flat, mechanical, or otherwise unrealistic characters are generally not as beloved. Readers want developed characters who seem like people they could encounter out on the street. And nobody has done more studying of people on the street than Madison Avenue. All, on like, all streets, not just on Madison Avenue. Advertisers often break down their customers the way good writers break down their characters. They try to understand their history, how those events have shaped them, the challenges and obstacles they face, and how they might react to them. Of course, writers do this to create a gripping narrative and advertisers do it to sell mouthwash, but the end result is the same. A deeply nuanced understanding of what makes people tick. For fiction writers, this applies both to your characters and also to your eventual audience, understanding what they want, what drives them, what they will respond to. Advertisers have been doing this for years and it is an incredibly useful way to improve your characters and your writing overall. Just like this video was a good way to improve your characters and writing overall. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the advice in it useful. If you want to see more stuff like this, you can check out all my other writing advice related videos and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.